My name is Mike Kittner from 360 Heroes and I'm here to tell you about an exciting new product. This is the 360 Abyss version 4. Um, it's a little over two and a half years in the making so we're really excited to finally work out uh, all the kinks and details and I think we've got it. Um, what I'd like to tell you first is what you actually get with the kit and with that you're going to get a water jet case, a uh, pelican case. In here you can easily put your GoPro cameras in here. Um, you don't need seven for this particular abyss, but we just give you extra room uh, for that if you need it. Uh, we've got extra compartments inside of here so that you can got all sorts of places to stuff your cables uh, and things like that that you might be using. Um, also with this, you get um, your uh, Allen keys to actually open everything up with. Then we also have a, a, a section here for your 10 port USB charger uh, and for importing the data using CamMan. Um, this is the 45 degree mount. And then these are all of the standoff uh, pieces as you can see that we're using here on this, all of our different corners. And each one of these corners have a, a one inch ball mount end. So if you have camera accessories and stuff like that, um, it's all universal. And then we have a little smaller one here that actually goes with the 45 degree mount. And this is mainly used for subs and rovers and stuff like that for putting the camera out in front of you. Then we have our abyss rig inside of here. And this has an aluminum housing center uh, with polycarbonate uh, doors uh, inside of here. And then we have an extra uh, polycarbonate dome that's included with the kit. Then we have the new magnetic wand, uh, which is used to power the GoPros on and off uh, just by touching the switch. So for example, um, here's our particular unit. I can just very magically touch uh, one side. And what that does is turn all the GoPros on together. If I touch it once more, it'll actually start recording. Or if I hold in on it, it'll actually turn all the GoPros off. So we'll go over that a little bit later um, on how that works. And then in the back here, this is actually an area for your filters. And then we have a case with some extra O-rings and, and stuff like that. Let's talk a little bit more about the, the abyss and how it all comes together. Okay, the next step is we wanna take our abyss out of the case. And once we take the abyss out of the case, what I highly recommend to do is pulling out each one of these um, anodized legs and screw them into each one of the corners. So that way you've got a really good secure mount. And this is really strong. I can actually stand on this and it will not collapse. So it's, it's extremely strong and rugged um, for uh, this new type of housing structure. Once that's done, you can remove all the screws for the doors, and we're just going to pop off each one of these doors. And as you can see, it, it makes it fairly simple um, when we're taking this all apart like this, um, just to remove each one of these uh, doors from the system. And what I want you to pay attention to is find holder number one. Now holder number one has got this metal magnetic post here. And this is where the magnetic wand is actually coming in and you're just slowly coming close to it. You can get a really strong magnet if you wanted to and be able to do that, but I worry about the, the SD cards. What we've discovered is uh, this smaller magnetic wand uh, doesn't affect those cards in any way. So the first thing we want to do is find holder number one and we want to start plugging in our GoPros. And what I recommend is, is, as you can see inside of here, we've got this control board and we've got the hero port on the back. And we start off by just popping in the GoPro into the hero port first. And, and then you push right straight down. And that'll give you a nice snug fit. And what I recommend is you do that 
for each one of these before you put the domes on them. You just want to make sure they're all together and then then you screw the domes in because we want to make sure that we got a good solid connection and the connection is solid for us um, uh, before we put the actual domes on. And then you can also trigger it to make sure that uh, the wands and everything goes off. Now sometimes they might go off which is okay but what we'll do is we'll find that one that actually went off and we'll actually turn him off just to keep everything in nice and sync with each other and we'll put this last one in and again it's a nice snug fit so you want to make sure that everything comes together nicely and if you don't have a good connection you'll be able to know and be able to see that instantly so then once we got all the cameras in we're going to then just touch uh, with the wands and then that will actually trigger all the cameras so now we're just going to look and just make sure that all the cameras have turned on uh, which they have so that is now ready for assembly and we can actually hold in on this uh, to turn them all off and now what we'll do is we'll actually assemble each one of the doors to make sure everything is nice and set and it's again it's got a double housing uh, ring here so we've got a ring here on the bottom and a ring here on the side so that when you're going to put in the screws uh, into the corners it, it just has to be slightly snug you don't have to over tighten them because pressure is going to hold this unit together which is really exciting so now we're just going to put on all of our doors real quick make sure we have a nice snug fit for everything And you'll notice when you go to squeeze them in, you'll feel the air pressure uh, actually building on each one of them. And now we have a nice assembly of everything. And then we just want to look for um, holder number one again. And probably here on the back side. And you'll see that, that little uh, magnetic piece kind of standing through on the edge. So here's my holder number one and it's designed like I said so we just come close with a magnet um, that'll trigger all the GoPros on and we can actually look through the little doors and we can actually see that each one of the GoPros are fired up and working which is good and if they're not working it's probably because when we push them together we didn't get a really good snug fit so we just want to make sure that once the assembly is together and it's working it, it works out really well and then we just hold again turns all the GoPros off and we're now ready so now we can actually screw it in nice and tight and everything's set now what's what I've really discovered just recently is because this is the our new um, bullet 360 boards is if you leave this um, once you get all these connected and working um, you can just leave it in its current state with the, the cards and everything in it and you can go out and start filming immediately with it. Um, there is no power drain with these boards until we go to turn them on and it's very minute, um, low power consumption. So that's pretty much the assembly of the Abyss and this is the Abyss version 4 using the new Bullet 360. Thank you very much. Thank you.